I don't think that any of us watching this today has not asked a very hard and important question. And the question is, why um, do bad things happen to good people? I mean, everywhere we look today, I think people are looking around and seeing tragedies happening to good people. We see uh, accidents, tragedies, wars, and even things in our own personal life in which have happened to us, and we just ask, Lord, why, why, why? Of course, many people turn to the book of Job. There's a lot of issues uh, people go through on this subject. And I think many of us often are left with, with uh, maybe uh, not answering the questions the way we'd like. And I don't think if we can't answer this question a little bit, then I think we're going to have a real tough time down here. Uh, we've got to be able to get some handle on this question. You know, the very famous book that was written years ago called Why Do Bad Things Happen to Good People by uh, Rabbi Kushner was really wrestling with this question. He went into the book of Job and, of course, dealt with those things. But here's what I want us to think a little bit about today is this question. Why do good things happen to bad people? I think that's a very interesting way to begin to frame this question is, why is God so good to people that often are so bad to him? I mean, you take a look at our country today. Our America, is there any country that's ever been blessed more than, than, than uh, the United States of America? And yet, look, so many of the country and our leaders, we've turned away from the Lord, and yet the Lord still blesses. And so the question we want to ask as we look at that harder question is, why has God been so good to people that sometimes have been so bad? I know that I've been bad to the Lord. I've ignored him. I've sinned. I've run away from him. And yet he's blessed me and been good to me. So I think the first thing to stop and think about is, is we're not as good as we think. You know, we're part of a fallen creation. And in a fallen creation, things happen because of our sins. And so therefore, when we have some bad things that come against us, we shouldn't always personalize it. We live in a fallen world. And in a fallen world, people are going to experience a judgment as part of our sin. I think knowing that I have done things that are a part of a fallen world has helped me to understand I'm not as good as I think I am. I'm righteous in the Lord Jesus Christ. I am forgiven, but I am not deserving of anything. And yet, the Lord still gives and showers blessings on us beyond measure. You know, for any of us that have gone through real trials, I think if we really stopped and looked at our lives, most of us, the number of really great things that have happened in most cases, in many cases, outweigh the few tragedies and difficulties that have happened. And so do bad things happen to good people? Yeah, they do. But also great things happen to people that are not so good and not so wonderful. And as we begin to reframe that question, may we begin to have some perspective on God's grace and how he is good to truly undeserving people through the Lord Jesus Christ.